Hello, this is Ryan from Project Vibe 3B, and I'll be taking a, I'll be making a quick guide on build quality. So the technique I'm, the technique I'm going to be talking about today is a uh, is either called it's usually called screw boxing. So usually when we're putting structures together, you can see that we usually just put a, a short screw and then we screw the flange the flange together. This is hard but not really strong because let's imagine I'm putting any kind of stress. Then the first thing that's going to be bending is the flange itself, and basically the stress will not be transferred to the entire C channel. So the way to solve this is basically by just using a long bolt and then screw it in at the end. And then that's basically what boxing is because you're boxing the entire C channel. And just so in this video, I'll be showing a few techniques on how to do this. The box bolt, you're going to need uh, the following materials. Firstly, you're going to need uh, spacers that are, that's going to sum up to 0.875 inches long or 7 8. So over here, I'm using a half inch spacer and a 3 8 inch spacer long, which adds up to 7, 7 over 8. And then you're also going to need a screw that's approximately uh, 1.25 inch. So to do this, it's honestly pretty easy. Wherever you want to make your structural connection, just shove these spacers in. You might need a little bit of force, but my thing is pretty. You might need a little bit of force, and then just grab your bolt where you want to screw it in. And then just put your bolt through the entire spacer assembly. It might it might take a little bit of effort for you because uh, for for these bigger half inch spacers, uh, this because of how thick it is, uh, this whole this, the hole is actually slightly shifted to the sides. Over here, and then lastly, just screw it in. I'm using Kepsen over here because I'm kind of lazy, but I recommend using thin nylocks for everything. That's structural connections. Once this here is done, as you can see, our, our assembly is done. So here's a quick screen comparison. So as you can see, if I only screw in the flange, you can see how when I tw when I try to twist uh, when I try to twist the support, it starts off twisting from the from the flange itself, because obviously only the flange are screwed together. You can see it slightly. I guess probably from this way is better. You can see that the flange start twisting first. But if my entire support is boxed, it will be really hard. Now that everything is not constrained together into one piece, you have to twist the entire piece of C-channel together. So it's going to be a lot harder to twist and therefore be a lot stronger. I'm going to show some different variants of uh, spacer boxing over here. Uh, earlier on over here, we actually used a half-inch OD spacer that excels. So as you can see, it's actually it's actually slightly protrudes over the C-channel, so it's actually, it's actually slightly thick. You can actually you can also buy these spacers over here, which are 3 8 inch outer diameter and 7 8 inch long. And you can basically see that it fits perfectly inside and it's going to be flush. And it's, it stays flush and the holes are going to be centered. So you can buy these all of McMaster. I'm going to keep a link in the description. But basically over here you can do the same, you can achieve the same thing, but it's going to be a lot more clean. And at the same time over here, you can also put box bolting not, not on the C channel connections, but also standoffs. So if you have like let's say a really long standoff that's supporting something, so instead of just instead of having the structure twisting the flange, you can have the structure basically constrained by the entire structure, so it'll be a lot stronger. And lastly, let's say that you're trying to put a cantilever, like let's say you're trying to put a bearing over here, you can actually also enforce the structure by using two bearings that's on against each other and just put spacer spot and then box them in between. Now as you can see. The bearing can be a lot better constrained this way, as there's, as you're basically extending length, as as you're basically extending where the support of the shaft exists. So instead of using spacers, we're going to be using nuts that are going to be pressing against each other to support the C channel. I call this method screw boxing personally, but your mileage may vary. May vary. So to do this, you'll want three pieces of cap nuts and the same 1.25 inch screw. So let's start. To do this, you'll want to put your screw through your hole. And then you'll want to put one nut in the end on it. You want to put one nut facing this with the uh, with the crown facing the C channel, and then have another nut that's facing with the crown facing the other half of the, the other end of the C channel. Okay. That's funny. All right, let me just. So to just just quickly after this, just quickly put the caps through to the other end, and then once your screw is at the end, you'll want to grab a wrench and a screwdriver, and then you'll want to tighten this screw against this nut over here. It should be tightened really tightly. So this ensures. So basically now 
the cap's not over here and the screw is constraining this piece of flange so you can't shift this and now what we want to do is quickly just move this nut to the end put the other wrench on this side and then make sure basically that they're touching against each other so then you'll want to grab two wrenches and then basically lock that shell onto the two nuts and then tighten them against each other like this just tighten them a bit and then now that by tightening this earlier this flange is constrained and now by tightening this against each other now these two cannot shift so this flange is constrained and now this thing is now boxed fully so the advantage of doing and also you can see that you'll see that this, this is actually not really you can't really loosen this this is because that this node over here and this node over here is actually uh they're tightening in opposite directions so basically if if i try to loose, loosen this node over here this nut tightens so I can't, it, it would never come loose in an assembly for the robot. And then lastly, to take, to take this thing apart, in case you want to take apart a robot in the future, just start with loosening this nut over here, briefly. Then loosen this nut. Lastly, just loosen this nut. You want to do this with the screwdriver over here. And then now the thing is, everything's loose, and you can just start taking it apart as normal. This here is the advantage of using uh, screws for, for boxing. So as you can see over here, a screw is pretty, I think a screw is pretty obviously thinner than a piece of spacer. So let's say that you want to try to box something on the drivetrain and it's going to be, and obviously on the drivetrain there'll be a lot of bearings going through. And as you can see normally, if I try to box some, if I try to box, if, 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 my, if my bracing goes over here with the screws, I can't really box it. However, with screws, I can actually carve out, like as you can see over here, you can actually carve out the bearings. As I, as you can see, I cut a notch, a notch over here using the bandsaw. You can do the same with a diagonal cutter, probably. And now, by putting this notch, I can be able to put the screw through, and then basically just put the boxings around here. And so, basically, by using a screw box, I, I, I generally if if my bracing if my support contacts the uh, contacts any any kind of bearing, I'll switch to using screw boxing. And otherwise, I'll be using spacers usually because it's just way faster. I have to tie, I only have to tighten one nylock instead of three caps nuts. I can do the same thing on the side, on the, on the, on the bearing side, by just shaving it off slightly on, on the side, over here. So basically, even if there's a bearing contact on any hole, I can be able to fit it. I can, I can be able to fit the boxing through. All right.